What an incredible movie. So thank yep. you very much for, uh, for being a part of it. And I um, had the chance to work with Vault in the past, and I know how intensely he can push his actors and push everybody. And I know that you guys were on location and making all this stuff happen in the elements. How much did shooting on location bring, to bring you all together and create the bonds that you really feel in the film? Everything. I mean, you know, I mean, I remember, I remember all of us meeting up in London that first time, just that, that foreignness and that weird expectation, and, you know, and some people were rightly nervous, you know, I'm going to put crampons on, I don't know how to do this, what am I doing here, you know, and then here we are, and it was Christmas, we're all about to head home in different parts of the world, we came together for a week, and then, you know, we see everyone then in, in, in Kathmandu. You fly into the airport and it's, you know, you're at altitude, and it's foreign, and it's crazy, and there's buses and taxis, and it's... Not, and you, you know, you're off, you're running, you're, you know what, it's not your normal day. And you see it, as you said in the film, you see it, I think when we all get together and hang out and talk, you know, when you see it, when you see, you know, Jake running up a mountain, you know, just getting himself, you know, ready to, 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 to be at the stage that he's at in the climb, you know, and, and you, you're just standing there having a chat, you know, 14,000 feet. Yeah. And you just go, man, you know, and you can see it on other actors as well. This is, it's. It paid off in a way, you know. I mean, everything the doubts and moments and this and all that. Here we are. We're doing something we love in extraordinary places. Absolutely. And how did all the preparation that you both did? How did that bring you closer to the real life men uh, who were doing this? How did that help you? Well, I think there's a quality in the movie that um, it being nonfiction. You know, uh, you know, there's a responsibility to the situation and to those who were left behind and to those who experienced the actual expedition and mm. all the things that happened on it. Mm. And I think that, you know, that sort of loomed over us while we were making the movie. I think, mm. um, you know, particularly I think for very the main characters throughout the story, there was a specificity as to the reasons why they made the choices because I think we all wanted to portray the characters as they were, which were all good, all good men and women, you know. Um, and yeah. stories tend to have to have sort of an antagonist and a protagonist just because you need tension. And in the case of this movie, you know, I speak for myself, someone yeah. like Scott Fisher, in the past stories told about this, has been made into sort of an antagonist, and in fact he wasn't that at all. And what I think is interesting yeah. about this was, People were trying to find a motivation as to why these guys went as hard and as far as they did yeah. in, in reality. And um, I think the reasoning was that they were great. They were both just great yeah. um, climbers. And without going for it, you never achieve it. This is not, you know, this is not like going to the office for milk or something. This right. is like, right. if you're going to get up to some of these places, you've got to go for it, you know? And I mean, achieving that goal seems to be such a big thing. It's the protagonist, it's the antagonist. What does Everest mean to like the great popul population? Why does it capture our imagination? It's the tallest place on this earth. It is, you know, anything that has that, it is, it's the highest peak on this earth. And people go, you know what, that's why. And there's also the mythology, you know, going back to Mallory and this 96 disaster is, is possible, you know, it actually is. That's a, the, that and Mallory, it's the biggest, you know, events and memories of, 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 of what happened. Um, yeah. You know, Mallory was the first person, maybe he got up there, maybe he didn't, I think they found that he didn't. But you know, the, the belief that he could, and then this one was, you know, this is when people, private people, started climbing it, you know, and what went down. I also think Everest is a metaphor, you know. I think for as long as I've been alive, and I think probably many kids, adults alike, you know, it's a metaphor for all the things that you want to accomplish or you hope to accomplish in your life. And I think some people take that metaphor and bring it into reality and, and try and actually get to that summit. Um, but uh, it's also just, it looks kind of like life, you know? Yeah. Almost impossible to climb, but somehow you can do it. You can do it.